Hi, my name is Ariella Centeno, and I will be doing Sally's monologue from Your Good Man Charlie Brown, the musical. A C. A C. I got a C on my coat hanger sculpture. How could anyone get a C in coat hanger sculpture? May I ask a question? Was I judged on the piece of sculpture itself? If so, is it not true that time alone can judge a work of art? Was I judged on my talent? If so, is it fair that I'd be judged on a part of my life over which I have no control? If I was judged on my effort, then I was judged unfairly, for I tried as hard as I could. Was I being judged on what I had learned about this project? If so, then were not you, my teacher, also being judged on your ability to transmit your knowledge to me? Are you willing to share my C? Perhaps I was being judged on the quality of coat hanger itself, out of which my creation is made. Now is that not also unfair? Am I to be judged by the quality of coat hangers used by the dry cleaning establishment that returns our garments? Is that not the responsibility of my parents? Should they not share my C? Thank you, Miss Othmar. A squeaky wheel gets the grease. <laughs> Hi, my name is Ariella Centeno, and I will be doing Scout's monologue from To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. As we started home, I said, Jim, I forgot my shoes. As soon as we started back for him, the lights in the school auditorium went out. Jim said I could get him tomorrow. Then Jim said, hush him in. I thought he was thinking. He always wants you to hush so he can think. Then he said he heard something. We thought it was Cecil Jacobs. He had scared us once tonight, and we thought it was him again. We were just a little piece from the schoolhouse. I yelled something at him. Cecil Jacobs is a big fat hen. We didn't hear nothing. Jim yelled, hello, something loud enough to wake the dead. Well, after Jim yelled, we walked on. Mr. Tate, I was shut up in my costume, but I could hear it myself then. Footsteps, I mean. They walked when we walked and stopped when we stopped. Jim said he could see me because Miss Crenshaw put some kind of shiny paint on my costume. I was a ham at the Halloween pageant. When we got under the tree, well, it was pitch dark so we couldn't see, but I could tell because I was barefoot and Jim says the ground's always cold under the tree. Then all of a sudden something grabbed me and mashed my costume. I think I ducked on the ground. Heard a tussin' under the tree, sort of. They was jamming against the trunk, sounded like. Jim found me and started pulling me toward the road some. Well, then Mr. Yule yanked him down, I reckon. They tussled some more and there was this funny noise. Jim hollered. That must have been his arm. Anyway, Jim hollered and I didn't hear him anymore after that. And the next thing I knew, Mr. Yule was trying to squeeze me to death, I reckon. And somebody yanked Mr. Yule down. Jim must have got up, I guess. Then somebody was staggering around. Pants and a coffin fit to die. I thought it was Jim at first, but it didn't sound like him. So I went on looking for Jim on the ground. I thought Atticus had come to help us and he got wore out. But it wasn't Atticus. Why? There he is, Mr. Tate. He can tell you his name. <laughs>